welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisette and today I'm going to show you the canvas from Heaven and Earth Design, the crown jewel canvas that I'm going to be working on with these drills. As you may have seen last week I unboxed these drills. I ordered them from smithbeats.co.uk. I'll put a link over here to that video because guys with uh, Heaven and Earth Design canvases the crown jewel canvases, uh, you just get the canvas and you need to order the drills yourself. And they come like this, at least when you order them from Smith Beats. Right, so this is my third Heaven and Earth design canvas. And this is the canvas that I'm going to be working on with those drills. And I must be honest guys, this is a test because I'm going to test the, the drills on this painting and if I like it, I'm going to order from the same company for my large Heaven and Earth design. And my large Heaven and Earth design is Mini Cage from Anna Dittman. I'll put a link over there so you can see that unboxing. This is a smaller one. This is the smallest of the three that I have. Three you say? Uh, Yes, because the second one that I unboxed was a mermaid. I'll put a link over there. Uh, but that one I'm going to be doing with leftover drills. So that's a whole other project. But this one is going to be the first Heaven and Earth design that I'm actually going to be working on. And I'm going to start on this canvas as soon as I finished my Josephine Wall project. Right guys, this is a 90 colors. And it's a port glue. When you go to the side of Heaven and Earth Designs and you go to the tab of Crown Jewel Canvases, because Heaven and Earth Design guys is a cross stitch firm. They do cross stitch patterns, but they also have a section where they do diamond paintings for certain cross stitch patterns that they have. And you can order either port glue or double sided adhesive and color or black and white. I ordered for all three of my canvases, I ordered port glue and color. So this looks the most like a normal diamond painting. Okay guys, are you ready? Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Another mermaid. Oh, sorry. It doesn't lay as flat, but this is the Jeweled Mermaid from Ching Chu Kuk. Look, I'll let you see over here. The Jeweled Mermaid, artwork by Ching Chu Kuk, fine art of diamond painting, heaven and earth designs. And look what Michelle, the owner, she always does washi tape on the edges already. And in this case, it's a floral pattern. In the top you have their logo, Crown Jewel Canvases. It's a sturdy material, it doesn't have uh, scalloped edges, but that doesn't matter because you see there's such a large banner on the side that that doesn't matter. All right, what I love about Crown Jewel Canvases, you've got a schematic on the left side and on the right side, but guys, look, on this side, it's in this order. But then, when you turn it around, look, it's in the right order again. So they actually put the schematic in the way you're working and I really, really like that. Okay. Guys, can you figure out why I like this one? It's a mermaid! <laughs> it's really colorful and we've got butterflies. And you know I love my butterflies. Now what I really loved about this one was the hair on top. Look, I really love her hair. And I love the way that they show her tail. But I'm going to show you up close as I usually do. So here we go, are you ready? Right, and you might think, okay, this is a little weird. But guys, that actually is her fin, because look, this is her bottom, where the fins start. You see? So this 
is the tail of her fin. And she's got gloves on because what mermaid wouldn't put gloves on? That's only logical. And here's her small tummy and that's color blocking. A lot of color blocking. And then she's got a really nice top on with and here she's got a, a green necklace. Her other glove and of course she's got some bracelets on her upper arm. You know what? I'm just thinking about things guys. I'm just thinking. Of course you are a pretty lady. Okay and there's her hair. I love her hair. Look that's so cool. And here's all kinds of jewelry in her hair and over here a bowie pin. And then here a little butterfly. The rest of her hair and this might be a little bit difficult to see guys but okay so here's her uh, tail and then here in the background this actually is her fin. In the beginning I thought well if she's uh, in a coral reef or something like that and that's just but guys it's her fin look you see okay so here and then like this and then in the back of her and look she's got some jewelry on her arms and here there's another butterfly and on this arm she's got some jewelry as well so she's a posh mermaid I think she's cool there are about 90 colors in here if I'm not exactly right I'll put the right amount in here but guys, this one isn't that large, so it won't take too long. And I think it will be a really good test case for me to see if I like the drills. And guys, it's a mermaid, so of course I'm going to like her. And of course, the stickiness of the canvas. Ooh. And I'll show you the clarity of the symbols, guys. All right, guys, can you see? It is clear, but over here I think a light pad is a good idea. But other than that... And you've got some color blocking areas. So okay, it's 90 colors, but it's nothing compared to the Josephine wall. Because there I didn't have <laughs> color blocking. So. And guys, what do you think? Do you like her? Do you like my little posh jeweled mermaid? I think she's awesome. And you know why I also like her? Because I haven't seen her yet. And it's always nice to do something a little bit different, I think. This is a, the cool mermaid that I've got. So she's just minding her own business with her jewelry and... Um, okay. I'm going to be working on her and even the background here guys so the colors pink and yellow and blue I think this will look absolutely amazing once it's done I like her I hope you like her too and guys I'm going to be working on her as I said after my Josephine wool is finished and uh, we're going to check out if the drills are of the quality that I want and if so then I can order the drills for mini cage the large heaven and earth design last but not least the diamond painting bonbon bon. okay in case you don't know what a diamond painting bonbon bon is the diamond painting bonbon bon is the part of the diamond painting that I save for last as a kind of a reward for doing the entire painting and I make time lapses of my diamond painting bonbons. I'll put a link to the playlist over there so you can go and check it out. And the diamond painting bonbon in this one. Okay, guys, if you've been with me for a while, you know exactly what I'm going for that butterfly. That's my diamond painting bonbon in Jeweled Mermaid. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave all the product information in the description below. So just know you need to get the canvas and the drills separately 
So these canvases are a bit pricier than your average canvas, but you get 90 colors. And I like the rendering as far as I can judge from seeing it up here. But we'll have to wait until I place some drills on it, how it really works out. Guys, if you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up on your way out. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.